Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I review and do tutorials and test all kind of inexpensive makeup from Walmart, AliExpress, drugstore, dollar store, you name it. I'll test it on my eyeballs and on my skin and I'll pass the savings to you guys. This is one of those videos. This is my second video of Profusion palettes and this is Profusion Emeralds. It looks like this and we're going to be doing look, tutorial and swatches as usual and I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. So this is the look I created. So if you guys are interested to see what happens then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so YouTube notifies you. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, it helps us and leave me a comment. Let's get right into this video. So before we get into the us watches and tutorial let me just address the big elephant in the room if you see something odd about me and you wonder what happened why she looks so different that's my eyeballs the brown <laughs> this is my uh own natural color in all its brown cock her glory <laughs> so I am a big fan of color contacts. I wear them the same way I wear colorful eyeshadow. I love to coordinate colors. I like bright pops. So I call this Kaka Brown because it's like Kaka. I mean, I don't mind my color, but I just enjoy switching up. So usually I wear my contacts and I have color contact reviews on my channel. I'm going to put up a card for the color contact, my favorite color contacts, a couple of them if you're interested, so you can watch those videos. Those are short videos. I just show my favorites there. But um, lately, in a couple of few days, few days, my eyeballs have been kind of feeling a little eh, wonky because I've been uh, putting them in and taking them out a lot for different looks. So every look, I have to take them out, take my makeup off, put them up in. So my eyes took a beating. So the eyeballs are hurting now. So, they're dry and fried and laid to the side. <laughs> so I'm just using my own color, using my own color, like wearing my own eyeballs <laughs> without anything on them. Anyway, so I was thinking this is a great example of showing how the color coordinates. So the complemented color for the brown, the greens and the purples look great with browns. At least for me, I like cool tones on my eyes when I don't wear color contacts. So this color kind of palette, the emeralds, I was thinking it's perfect, perfect match when I can't wear contacts. Another weird thing that you see is my hair is a little shorter and a little fluffier. My hair is not very thick. If you it's the first time watching me. I have thyroid disorder and my thyroid is low. So my hormones kind of out of whack. So my hair is not as thick as it used to be. It's kind of thin. So I like long hair, but my ends are awful. So I gave my husband scissors today after shower. I'm like, cut the bit, bit in the back for me, please. I'm a hairdresser, okay? I'm licensed. But cutting your own hair is really inconvenient and it's a pain in the behind. So I gave them shears, I'm like, cut the straight line. So he cuts it on an angle. Really? Really, John? <laughs> so I asked him to fix it. So he fixed it a few times until it got to, I think more or less even. I guess after the quarantine is over, I have to actually trust somebody to cut my hair and to fix what uh, we have done here. But I'm happy that it's thicker. Anyway get this out of the way i'm talking about the palette so this is the third palette i'm reviewing the first two came in one video so the first one was neon and spectrum which were similar bright rainbow neon colors some of them were amazing some of them were a little patchy some of them were not as pigmented as i would want them to be but i figured on a tacky kind of more wet tacky base that usually you don't want to have because people say it creases but I use 
almost, I think it was a lipstick, wet wild white lipstick, and it worked on Neons. So this is the third one I'm testing, Emeralds. It really pretty. So it has all the shimmers, 10 shades, just like the other palette. It has six shimmers, one, two, uh, three, four, five, and six. So this is shimmers and four mattes. So it is nice. I'm gonna show you insert the swatches. It doesn't swatch great because it falls out, it literally rains on your face. So I would strongly suggest doing the eyes first. I'm the big advocate of doing my base first. I'm like, I don't care, I'll clean it up. Ah, it's okay. No, no girl, it's not okay. Perfusion falls, falls like rain on my face. So I fixed it today, but I'll never do this again. If I use this palette next time, I'll do the base last and eyes first. So take that out of the way. Because it's so dry, it does not swatch great. So I'm going to insert a couple of clips, videos. I put the mattes separately and the shimmer separately so you can see. But they're not great swatches. But you can see the proof is in the pudding. So that's my eyes. That's the look I created. And in the next clip, you're going to see swatches, and we're gonna go right into the tutorial and my final thoughts at the end. So, roll the swatches. So, this is the perfect example of how the green looks on the brown eyes. Since my eyeballs have been really irritated lately, because they've been changing in and out of the colorful content so i think my eyeballs said no we're not taking this anymore <laughs> so i'm doing the makeup look with my brown color so you see the green complements the brown definitely not the brown complements the brown so we're going with these two colors if you heard something that was that dryer uh, buzzing because my laundry is done so. <laughs> i'm going with meadow and juniper so I ended up with this halo eye. I thought this was the darkest color, but this turned out to be a little deeper. So I decided to mix them. So I'm going with the Moda brush, one of the, I like this Moda brushes. It's a detailed brush. It's very, very uh, firm and has a very small edge. So we're gonna use metal first. And I think I've done cut crease last time and uh, the regular, have cut grease so I think I want to do some halo eye so you see meadow is pretty but the other color is a little deeper although it doesn't look deeper in the pen it does fall out a lot just like the other colorful palette it seems to be the thing with perfusion and I always do my base first <laughs> Should have done the other way, but whatever. I'll clean it up so it's all over the place. I'm using Juniper now, the darker shade, and go over it. So this is an easy and dramatic look in the halo eye. Anybody can achieve that. You just go from the inner corner to the outer corner and create depth on both sides. And depending on the eye shape, you create either less or more depth. Because on me, I would not want to make too deep. Like the inner corner, I wouldn't want it too dark. Or like too close to the nose. So trying to keep it contained to one spot. So I'll take in a bigger brush. The same water brush. This is a shade brush. So it has a flatty feel. And we're going for firm because I know you all want to see this one. You all like this kind of thing. So fern goes above and slightly overlapping over. And it blends really easy with the other color. It does not create any demarcation lines, which is a good thing. Because sometimes you have two shades in the palette, the lighter and the darker, and it creates this kind of line. So you have to really, really work. Like work and blend, work and blend. This one is like no work at all. It just blends. So now you know the deal. I'm going between two brushes and going back into a darker tone. 
I'm just kind of emphasizing the lines, clean it up, making sure it's all blended and deep. This you don't have to worry about, we'll clean it up. So add an eyebrow bone highlight first with gilded, this one, really pretty. Gold and gold and pale gold, it's beautiful. So what I did off camera is add a little more concealer. Yes, I use concealer as base. I've been kind of going cheap because the palette is cheap, so I'm treating it cheap. And I used <laughs> the same thing I used last time with Wet Wild White Lipstick on the main lid to kind of make it more tacky and make everything pop. I noticed this does not crease on me. It doesn't. It just doesn't. Uh, either my eyelids are dry or something, I don't know, but this works. So, I'm going with a flat brush and we're going for the shimmer shades. Oh yeah, I also added uh, pencils, color pencil in my waterline. Uh, one is Neon LA Girl Shockwave Eyeliner and this is fresh. It looks like this, real bright. And then I went over it with a color pop white one. So I just kind of brightened up the very much of the uh, waterline. So Morphe brush, just a flat and name brush. I'm going into this Galaxy shade. Galaxy really, really spoke to me. It's such a beautiful shade. It's so deep, it's so glittery. I'm just living for this. So I'm going on the outside. So again, we're creating halo. So we are deepening the outer corner and the inner corner. I'm going right between the match shade and the concealer base, kind of well blending them together. It's really easy to do because the colors are so close to each other, the shimmer and the matte, they just blend easily. So going with this brush through the color switch, and I'm going to bright tone, bright, bright. So I noticed that this, this one is shimmery, but it's not very glittery. So it doesn't have that sheen I'm looking for. And this one does, but it's dark. This one does, but it's uh, more of a gold. But it's really pretty reflective. So I'm going with this first, and then I'm gonna go with this and this on top. So kind of a topper. So let's go with the lime green. Lime green is pretty, but it's more of a uh, kind of a shiny shade, if it makes sense, like a satin and it's not very foiled and I'm looking for something more foiled and glittery of course I added real glitter on this side because because glitter is life and I cannot go without it so going with the green now I'm gonna load the burst so green is called Harlequin Harlequin and this one is burst so this one is kind of the same thing, it's shimmery it's more foil than green, I think, but it's still not glittery enough. So this is cre creating your halo, so make sure that the uh, middle part, right when it looks straight in, it's right in the middle of your iris, because your eye should be centered with the gold, with the middle of the light shade, right? So we're centering it. Now I'm also applying the a radioactive so this is kind of a glittery topper you would probably apply that on the glitter glue just on the eyelid and it'll be awesome but since I know I can't live without the real glitter this is not gonna matter so I'm just gonna show you how it performs so this is without glitter of course I'm gonna blend it just blend it out with the green and the fallout is ridiculous I am regretting this. I'm regretting it. Should have done my base last, but who am I listening to? I'm not listening to my own advice. <laughs> well, it can be fixed. Believe me, I fixed this eyeball. I'll fix the other eyeball. So now, of course, going back to dark, the galaxy shade, and just kind of blending them together. Okay, I cleaned up my under eye just a little bit, so I clean up as I go. And at the end, all I do when I finish my makeup, I use a little sponge with a little bit of concealer, kind of tap it under like I did this eye, and just fix it, kind of spot clean. 
of course, would have been easy if I did my eyes first. But too late. So now I'm going with the same galaxy shade that I love. I decided against creating the halo on the low bottom lash line. I just wanted this depth. So I'm going with the galaxy in my low lash line. That shade is freaking everything. And it falls out just like the other ones. <laughs> but it's really nice. There's so much glitter reflect in it. Kind of reminds me of a, my gold palette dupe. I have an Dasha Denona dupe, Alter Ego. And it has this greenish, like a dark shimmery glitter shade. It's very much that. It reminds me of that shade. Going right with the same brush into that lime green Harlequin shade. Right, and just tap it under just to blend it out and of course I'll have to clean up the mess connect this outer corner and go back into the deeper green shade matte and go back to the matte glitter liner Handayan so this is one of my Aliexpress whole liners and not liner again this is a glitter eyeshadow so it's like a thick tip but it's real gold really pretty so I'm just using my Aliexpress thin brush that's a detail liner and I'm just gonna add the glitter because without glitter is not enough so I'm gonna start right here at the crease line and I just go below It's a very pretty and pigmented palette. I did not expect any less. Perfusion has been killing it. It is powdery. It's powdery AF. And like with the Nihans and Spectrum palettes, those fall out, but they also have problems with pigmentation unless you use a very tacky base. So I didn't make mistakes in this one and just used a very tacky base today. And it really came out nicely. So I'll be back with the finished eye look and we'll talk. There you have it, the finished eyeball look. Green and glittery, the way I like it. So again, good example to see how brown eyes look with colorful looks. And it's always more flattering to wear greens or purples or even blues to the browns rather than neutrals, of course. So I like cool tone on my eyes if I don't wear contacts. I'm using me out now. Okay, so this is the look. And if you see my hair it's slightly shorter, I probably already mentioned it in the beginning. My husband chopped it since I asked him. That was nice of him. My ends needed to go. Now it looks a little fluffier. <laughs> so this is it. So my thoughts about Emerald's Profusion palette. Walmart, five bucks. Or on Profusion website, same thing, five bucks. Real good. Actually, I think it's better quality than Neons and the Spectrum because those colors are probably harder to formulate. And this kind of greens and mattes and shimmers are easy, I would imagine. And for the price point, it's real low cost. So it's great quality for this kind of price, especially. Everything was blending easily. Everything was pigmented, had no issues with pigmentation, this one, at all. So uh, my advice to you, go get it. If you have a Walmart nearby, stop by, they have plenty of makeup. Disinfect it, <laughs> I always mention. Disinfect your palette. Maybe it doesn't matter, but I do. So all of them pretty much good, the ones I tried, but the green one is better than the neons. So go get them, Profusion website at Walmart. So leave me a comment below, let me know what you think, whether you have these palettes or not. Um, and like this video. If you enjoyed it, give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't yet, upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.